It hit the west coast of India with the intensity of a Category 3 hurricane with winds topping 200 kilometers per hour, one of the most powerful storms to move through the area in decades. These workers hurrying off one of several oil and natural gas barges that went adrift as the powerful cyclone barreled through the Arabian Sea. There are rescue operations being mounted by Coast Guard and Navy and that is going on. That is the input that we have uh, as of now and uh, we are also closely watching that. Hundreds were rescued but the National Disaster Response Force, Coast Guard and Navy mounted a massive search and rescue mission on Tuesday for dozens of workers that were on a barge that sank in the rough seas. And the storm's destructive effects on land, too, with officials saying tens of thousands of trees were uprooted and hundreds of state roads destroyed. More than 200,000 people were evacuated from their homes, and at least 19 people have been killed. All of this increasing pressure on Indian authorities struggling with a second wave of COVID-19 infections, and now concerns over the disruption of medical oxygen getting to hospitals because of the cyclone's damage. Thankfully, the storm weakened significantly to a tropical depression as it moved over land on Tuesday. A more favorable forecast for the cleanup and rescue efforts underway as the cyclone season winds down this month. Only to be replaced by the monsoon season, which provides essential water to agriculture. But flooding in recent years has also caused widespread destruction. I'm meteorologist Ross Hall.